good and gracious God, we thank you for bringing the men and women of the Canisius College class of 2020 to a successful end of their years of study and work. We thank you for all those who were a part of their years at Canisius, their professors, and all those who helped them to grow in knowledge and wisdom. We thank you for the support they have given to each other and for the support of their parents and families. Be with them, loving God, as they now prepare for the next part of their life's journey. May they always know your love and your grace each and every day. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, the Lord, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who with you are one God forever and ever. Amen. Good evening. On behalf of the trustees, regents, president, faculty, administrators, alumni, and graduates, I welcome you to Canisius College and the graduate degree conferral ceremony for the College of Arts and Sciences, the School of Education and Human Services, and the Richard J. Whaley School of Business. I am Sarah Morris, Vice President for Academic Affairs. It is my pleasure to be with you in this virtual format for this important occasion. You've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Unfortunately, the global pandemic does not permit us to celebrate your graduation today on campus in the Kessler Athletic Center in the presence of your faculty, fellow students, families, and friends. That day will come on October 10th, and we promise it will be a grand celebration. But for now, we wanted to mark this day, the date of the conferral of your Canisius College degree with this virtual ceremony. Your Canisius faculty and staff are extremely proud of your work, your resilience, and your commitment to completing your degree despite the many challenges that faced us this semester. Although we are physically separated, we are united in celebrating your achievements today when you are officially granted your degree. Will the candidates for the degrees of Masters of Science, Masters of Science in Education, and Masters of Business Administration in the College of Arts and Sciences, the School of Education and Human Services, and the Richard J. Whaley School of Business, please rise. President Hurley, these students have completed all the requirements of the degrees that they are receiving. I certify their eligibility and ask you to confer upon them the degrees they have earned. By the power vested in me, by the trustees of Canisius College, and by the regents of the University of the State of New York, I welcome you to the company of scholars and confer on you the master's degree with all the rights and privileges connected therewith. Thank you, President Hurley. I now proudly present to you and to the world at large, the Canisius College Class of 2020. Graduates, you did not achieve this distinction without help. At this time, in a face-to-face -face ceremony, we would ask your faculty and staff and your families to rise and be recognized by you. Will you please thank your faculty and staff, your parents, spouses, children, family members, and friends who are of such great assistance to you throughout your studies at Canisius. If you are able to be together today, please thank them in person. If you are not able to be together, I encourage you to reach out to them with a quick note, a text, an email, or a phone call. The people who have supported you during your studies will be so proud to be part of your celebration. At this time, I present to you John J. Hurley, President of Canisius College, for his remarks on this special occasion. On behalf of your faculty and staff here at Canisius College and your families and friends, I want to extend my sincere congratulations to you, the Canisius College Class of 2020. You know, to be honest, I never expected to be delivering a message like this, and I know that you never expected to be watching a video like this. You sailed through your time at Canisius, and you expected that March, April, and May of 2020 would be filled with special last events, like last papers and exams, 
and your last all-nighter. And then the last tears, hugs, and kisses as you said goodbye to Canisius. In the space of a few short days in March, your final days at Canisius were upended. Your plans dashed, and now we're left with this, a virtual degree, conferral, and a digital goodbye. Class of 2020, I'm sorry for the way that this has ended. You deserved better, but life does not always deliver what we deserve. We hope to make it up to you in October with a live celebration. You know, there's a tendency to think of all that we have lost during this pandemic. Loss of life, to be sure, and we mourn those taken from us too soon. But also our loss of freedom, our loss of confidence, and perhaps, yes, a loss of hope. But as I've watched you navigate these difficult final weeks, I think you've also found some things. You found out just how much your Canisius family and friends mean to you. You found out how you may have taken for granted so many little things. The impromptu meeting with a faculty member in the hallway. The smile from a facilities worker who was cleaning up after you. You found out, I think, what this community means to you. You've also found that while technology can keep you connected, it's no substitute for a hand to hold, a reassuring hug, or the chance to look deeply into a friend's eyes. As we all continue to deal with this new normal, let me urge you not to dwell on what you may have missed or lost. Life is about learning from experience and then using that to shape how you live in the future. So graduates, your career at Canisius is now complete. We send you out into this very challenging world, a world that so desperately needs Canisius College graduates like you. As you make your way in that world, remember always that you have two powerful tools at your disposal, a Catholic Jesuit education and now a Canisius diploma. With these tools, you can bring the world a sense of hope. Your Canisius education has equipped you with a deeper knowledge. You've learned that things are not as simple as they appear and that life is full of nuances, gray areas, conflicts, difficult choices, and yes, disappointments. You have the power to be agents of change and bring light to the shadowy places of the world. Your years at Canisius have helped you to develop a strong ethical grounding and a clearly developed moral compass, the ability to tell right from wrong. And we hope that you have learned what St. Ignatius Loyola himself learned, that life is all about a search for a relationship with God, and it is the process of that search that transforms lives. I urge you, Make that process of Ignatian discernment a lifetime practice. Seek the highest and best truth. Search for God in all things and in all people. In the beauty of the sunrises and the sunsets, to be sure, but also where it's sometimes more difficult to see God. In the faces of the poor, the marginalized, the sick, the grieving, the refugee, the discriminated. Remain compassionate throughout your lives and hear the cries of the poor. And finally, stay close to Canisius throughout your lives. Nurture the friendships with your classmates and remain a part of their lives. You will be in our prayers always. And you should know that no matter where life takes you, no matter what challenges you may encounter, you will always have a home here at Canisius. Come back often. May you find, as Canisius alumni over the past 150 years have found, that your lifelong relationship with Canisius College is the defining difference in your lives. With all of these challenges, and in whatever opportunities you pursue in life, 
May you have true success. And may you live healthy, productive, satisfying lives with meaning and purpose. May God bless Canisius College and long live the great class of 2020. May God fill your hearts with thanksgiving and gladness. May God send you people to love and to serve. May God show you the beauty and strength that dwells within you. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. St. Peter Canisius, pray for us.